Becoming a full-stack Java developer requires a combination of Java programming skills, web development knowledge, and a strong understanding of databases. Here are the top 10 tips to help you on your journey. Let's start with tip number one, master core Java. Start by thoroughly learning core Java concepts, including object-oriented programming, data structures, and algorithms. Understand the fundamentals of Java programming, such as variables, loops, conditionals, file I.O., networking, exception handling, and multi-threading. Tip number two, learn Java EE. Java Enterprise Edition provides the foundation for building enterprise-level web applications. You can familiarize yourself with Java EE technologies like servlets, Java Server Pages, JSP, and Enterprise Java Beans, EJB. Though Spring Framework has dominated and has made significant inroads, and has become the framework in the Java ecosystem to build enterprise-level Java projects. Yet a good understanding of Java Enterprise Edition is important for a solid foundation of distributed computing, design patterns, and persistence in Java Enterprise projects. Tip number three, understand web development. Gain a solid understanding of web development technologies such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Learn how to build interactive and responsive user interfaces using front-end frameworks like Angular or React. Tip number four, gain solid hands-on knowledge of Spring Framework. Spring Framework is a very popular framework for building Java projects and has evolved as a de facto framework for server-side backend and API projects. So invest time in learning it thoroughly. Tip number five, database knowledge. Gain proficiency in working with relational databases like MySQL, PostgreSQL, or Oracle. Learn how to design database schemas, write efficient SQL queries, and understand database optimization techniques. NoSQL has gained significant inroads in enterprise projects, particularly for big data and real-time use cases. So learn NoSQL as well. MongoDB, Couchbase, and Cassandra are the common ones. Depending on the use case, you can find them used in many enterprise projects. Tip number six, API development. Learn how to build RESTful APIs using frameworks like Spring Boot or JAXRS. Understand concepts like request response handling, authentication, and serialization. Is serialization of data. Though new SOAP-based web services development are not common, learning SOAP-based web services can also be useful if you need to fix or modify legacy SOAP-based web services. Tip number seven, front-end technologies. Develop your front-end skills by learning popular front-end frameworks and libraries such as Angular or React. Understanding front-end development will enable you to create dynamic and engaging user interfaces. Tip number eight, version control and CI-CD. Learn how to use version control systems like Git. It will help you track changes, collaborate with other developers, and manage your code base efficiently. Also, learn Maven and Docker. Both are extremely important to learn as most enterprise projects leverage CI-CD in containers for continuous integration and continuous development process to speed up build and deployment with efficiency. Tip number nine, testing and debugging. Familiarize yourself with various testing frameworks like JUnit for unit testing, Selenium for automated UI testing, and Mockido for mocking dependencies. Additionally, develop effective debugging skills to identify and fix issues in your code. Tip number 10, continuous learning. Stay updated with the latest trends and advancements in Java, functional programming, and web development. Follow industry blogs, participate in online communities, and work on personal projects to enhance your skills continually. Remember, becoming a full-stack Java developer requires a blend of technical skills, hands-on experience, and a willingness to adapt to new technologies. Embrace continuous learning and stay motivated throughout your journey to grow as a top-notch Java developer.